Hey, I'm Katie, and this is Katie Plays Stuff, where I play stuff for you. And today, we're going to be getting on to the next part of Heavy Rain. Okay, so we just left off as Norman Jaden, the CIA agent, and we had these cool-ass glasses, and we were, you know, trying to find some clues and figure out who killed the dead body. And yeah, that was pretty exciting. And we also got to be Ethan again, which I was very excited about. And we are playing as Ethan right now. And I just want to know what's going on. Apparently, he's suffering blackouts. And I really need to know just what's happening. Where did these blackouts come from? They might have come from his accident when he was hit by a car with his son, Jason, who died. So I don't know, but I'm excited to find out some more. So let's get started. All right, so we are Ethan with Sean again. Do you want to eat something? Is something the matter, Sean? No, I'm all right. Obviously not. How did things go at school today? The teacher yelled at me for being late again. She's gonna send me home the next time it happens. You can't I'm send a kid home. That, next time, we'll really pull it together, okay? Aren't you gonna go play with the other kids? I don't feel like it. What a depressing bunch of people. Alright. A boomerang? You know how to use it? No, not really. I can never make it come back. Can I give it a try? Oops, I was not paying attention. I figured it out! There we are. Got it. You did it, Dad! Do you want to give it a try? I won't be able to do it. Oh, come on, let's try it together. Now, the main thing is to get the right position at the beginning. Now, you've got to throw it straight and a little to the right. Now, throw it! I did it! I did it, Dad! How Good unrealistic. Job, See? That wasn't so hard. Well, that was nice. All right, what can we do around here? Why are we even here? Mm. Doesn't seem like I can click on anything. Just this awkward guy walking through a children's park. Merry-go-round. What about that merry-go-round? I bet I can push you so fast you won't be able to stay on it. Great! Let's do this. Go on, Dad, as fast as you can. <sighs> Faster! I can't. Faster. I can't. I stopped. <laughs> Whoa. I think my head is spinning. 
Good training for astronauts, though. <laughs> they always gotta throw these cute little, like, happy family segments into this game. My puppy is being a nuisance right now. Hold on. <sighs> Sorry. It's impossible for me to actually play anything because he runs around the room and he starts chewing on everything. You can probably hear him right now. Anyway, well, if you can hear random noises in the background, it's my dog. <laughs> Alright, now what? What's this guy doing over here? What you selling? Candies. I'd like a packet of strawberry flavored chewies, please. Thanks. Thank you. Hey, I got you some chewies. I hate strawberry. Thanks. It was nice of you anyway. Can we just swap it out for something else? Like, really? Dude, just give me something else. Is it time to leave? Hold on. Let me see if there's anything else I can do. Maybe he can go on the swing? Swing. You want to go play on the swing? I'll push you. Okay. Okay. Let's do this. I bet if I didn't get him those candies and I didn't do anything, I would have got the bad dad freaking achievement. Oh, I gotta hold it. There we go. We're not finished! You're not pushing dead. All right, all right. I hate quick time events. This game is literally only quick time events. Come on, dad, higher. <laughs> oh, you done? <laughs> that was cool. Kiba. Oh, my dog right now. I'm trying to record for you guys, trying to get some stuff done, but this puppy right now. That's another reason why I probably won't be live streaming later. It's like he just doesn't stop. Can I buy a ticket, please? I think my son would like this. No? Excuse me? Okay, maybe not. What's over here? Oh god. <laughs> I almost left without my son. It's getting dark. It might start to rain soon. Yeah, you think? I'll find something else to do with him. Okay. Um... What else? Ooh, seesaw. I haven't been on a seesaw in a long time. What do you think? Yeah! I'm such a good dad. Come on, dad, make me fly! <laughs> Ooh, there's a rainbow. <laughs> Don't fall, gosh. Don't want to lose two kids. <laughs> He's just the cutest little thing. He seems to be having fun. It's been a long time since I've seen that smile. I'll find something else to do with him. All right, all right, God. Can we get on the carousel? That's what I would like to do. If I can get a ticket. One ticket, please. Sir. Oh, 
Let me in. Hello? Ew? This is a children's park, you freaks? Alright, I tried to go on the carousel. I don't know if we can. So, I say it's time we head home. He's pretty happy now, and we said something about it, so... Unless we can go on this thing. Nope. Yeah, I think it's time to go home. Hmm. Looks like rain's coming. I think we better go. Okay. Let's get going, bro. You know, sometimes I remember before. I mean, when Jason was still here. Sometimes I wish everything could just be the way it was before. Me too, Sean. Me too. So sad. I can't imagine losing a sibling that young when you're so close in ages like that. I mean, they were probably best friends. Alright, let's go. Hey, Dad, can I have a ride on the carousel? Can I? That's what I've been trying to do this whole time. Sure. Go pick a horse and get on. Sean, I'll get a ticket. I've been trying. One, please. That's a dollar. Wait a second. The last time I paid a dollar, I lost my child. Oh no, not again. Not right now. actually happened when he blacked out? Like, did he just fall on the ground and then... Uh, I, I, did he go to the hospital? Sean! Oh my god, this is crazy. Sean! It's not out there. Bedroom, bedroom, bedroom. Sean! Sean! the whole time? <laughs> oh my god. This is crazy. You have unlocked a new bonus. And I'm playing as my favorite guy again. Um, good friends. That's nice. Okay, you know, if he just blacks out, 
maybe he is still doing normal stuff. So maybe he's like, all right, let's go home. And then he brought Sean home and like maybe the mom came to pick him up. And then all of a sudden he like kind of came to and just forgot about what happened. You know, maybe that's what happened. I don't know. Tuesday, 7.55 p.m. I should start keeping track of the times and what's going on. Is this all happening on the same day? Do you think it's gonna take long? No, he should be finished soon. Great voice acting. What in the heck? Is this the future? Or is this what they thought the future was gonna be? <laughs> and nobody finds this weird? <laughs> that guy is just like, what's going on? <laughs> I'm off, Charlene. I'll look at the reports later. I'll cancel all appointments for this afternoon. Okay. Oh, Captain. Agent Norman Jaden from the FBI is here. Jaden, of course. We've been expecting you. I'm in a bit of a hurry. Do you mind tagging along? We can talk as we walk. Yeah, of course. I wanted to introduce myself before getting started, but uh, perhaps there's a better no, time. No, no. Now it's fine. I just have to get to the press conference. We have them every day now. Believe me, it's not always easy finding something to tell them. Fortunately, today we have some news. Have you met Lieutenant Blake yet? Yeah, we met this morning. He has his own methods, but he's a good cop. I'm sure you'll get them well together. Do you know how to tie a knot in a necktie? I guess. To be frank with you, I could have done without the FBI on this one, but the press they're all over us. This origami killer case crept up on us, and it's fast becoming Bitch. a national concern. There are hundreds of killers in this country, but what do you know? This guy is exotic. He leaves flowers and origami figures. Work that one out. Then the press get onto it, and we suddenly become the center of the universe. I'm here to arrest a serial killer. With all due respect, sir, the rest of it, it's none of my business. No, of course not. All I'm asking is that you make progress, and fast. The press want a perpetrator, and we're gonna have to serve him up on a silver platter. Hmm, not bad. That guy's face just freaks me oh, out. Oh, go see Charlie and she'll show you to your office. Yeah, check in on the press conference if you're interested. It'll give you an idea of the political climate around here. Thank you, sir. Welcome to the club, Jaden. Why'd you say it like that, Jaden? All right, what am I thinking? I saw Blake when I arrived. Maybe I should go talk to him. I should get Perry's assistant to show me my office. I can't wait to get to work. I'm dying of thirst. Oh, yeah? Where's the water cooler when you need one? All right, so he has a lot of stuff he wants to get done. Captain Perry is doing his press conference now. Might be interesting to have a look. Okay, so I need to speak to Charlene. I need to get some water. I need to go see the press conference. I needed to turn around and stop walking like an idiot. Where's Charlene at, though? Sir. Oh, I can get a drink over here, right? No? Was it just really hot or really gross? Uh, all right. Oh, there's the water cooler. I don't know where Charlene is though.
Awesome. What's that over there? Ooh, investigation. I'm ready to start. Maybe we should kick off by talking about the case? I have some work to finish here. Let's talk about that later, if you don't mind. Okay. Uh, no problem. So that's Blake. Just let me know when you're available. Blake is a jerk. Actually, I don't like anybody in this office. Um, excuse me, I'm trying to walk here. Where's Charlene? Ooh. Okay. What are they looking at? Somebody in a cell? Is that Ethan? Could be. Don't know. Looks like him. Nobody? Nobody? Am I bothering you guys by looking at all this stuff? <laughs> what is this about? Ooh, interrogation room. Are you allowed to touch him like that? Yeah, they're probably interrogating people to see who the origami killer is. And now I don't know if it's Ethan. I feel like since that might be too, you know, like too obvious, maybe, I, I just don't know. I really don't know. And I don't want to keep guessing, but you know, that's what I like to do. Not my office. Is this Charlene right here? Nice watch. Oh, it's the present we offer to our new lieutenants. We bought the same model each year for the past 20 years for each promotion. It optimizes everybody's time and it's the kind of thing that always goes down well. You can contribute to our fund if you like. We're still a few dollars short. It's 12.30. All right. Congratulate Larry on my behalf. I'll be sure to do that, sir. Captain Perry said you could show me to my office? Yes, of course. Follow me. That's why Blake doesn't like us, because we have an office, and he has a stupid desk in the middle of the room. Sorry, Blake. Wait a second. This? <laughs> this is my office? That's where I was told to take you. If you need anything, you know where to find me. This looks like a jail cell, but you know, I'll take what I can get. Hmm. Okay, time to work. All right. Let's put all our clues down on the table. Oh, okay. Yeah, just knock the phone over. Okay, so I should have been sitting down. <laughs> Hold on. Step one. Change the office. Okay. I have to choose something? What is that, cloud? This is so weird and unbelievable. Like, I don't believe that these glasses, like, why are these in the game? Really? What are we doing? Ooh, I don't like this at all. Wait! 
Wait, I don't, I don't, I don't want that. I don't want that. Oh my god, get rid of this. Well, well. Looks like there's something new. Can I pick a different background? I just realized I just picked my office. Oh my god, I hate this so much. This would literally be the office of my nightmares. Can I get rid of how do I go back? Clear all? How do I get back? I'm like really upset right now. <laughs> it like, this office literally makes me want to start this whole chapter over and play it again. I hope I can change it after. Okay, anyway. Uh, Geoanalysis, analyze. No data for geoanalysis. All right, so I'm looking at all of my clues that I got. Harry, comment. Tire tracks on the side of the road behind the railroad line. It may be the killer's car. Um, let's see, what else do we got? Is that a footprint? Tires. The killer's car is probably a Chevrolet Malibu 83. Okay. No geo-analysis. Um, and the origami dog wolf thing. Paper composition cellulose, 75%. No prints or specific clues. Hmm. Nothing much to go on. How do I clear all? Okay, good. All right, map, clues, files, map. Okay. Files. This is so weird. Origami killer victims. See, I... What does that mean? Okay, lift it up. Eight victims in the last three years. All boys. Age between 9 and 13. No signs of violence. The victims disappear from public places in broad daylight. No one notices anything. Bodies are found three to five days later. Drowned. In rainwater. Drowned in rainwater. That's so weird. Killer has a large comfort zone. He gained confidence rapidly and moved away from his base. Hmm, this won't make the geo profiling any easier. The killer is killing kids. He's not killing like big people. Big people. He's not killing adults. He's killing kids. Always the same ritual: an origami in the hand, an orchid on the chest. Hmm. The victims have always been dead for less than six hours when they were found. Which means they remained alive for several days before being drowned. Over 3,500 people questioned. Over 100 suspects interrogated. Not a single lead to go on. Hmm. Sorry I'm not talking a lot guys. I'm just trying to take all this in while not being freaked out by the background. I hate it. Um, I already did this one, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Okay. All right. Well, let's close it up. Here we go again. I better go wash my face. his problem. I need to take some. I'm gonna faint if I resist. It's alright. I know I can make it. I know. I know I can make it. What is going on? Whoa. He's gonna faint because he needs some? What does he need? That blue stuff? What is that? Take trip exit. Take trip to... 
Where's the bathroom? Is everything all right, sir? Where the bathroom at? Over here. No one. No one must see. See what? Oh. Okay. I'm stuck. I can't see. Can I get in this freaking door, please? There we go. That was a really weird thing. Those people just walked out of each other. Notice. Is that Ethan? This is Lieutenant Blake, Mr. Marsh. Could you please tell him what happened? It, it was this afternoon. I went to the park with my son, Sean. We played together for a while, and then he wanted to go on the carousel, so I put him on one of the wooden horses, and when I turned back, Sean had disappeared. Exactly what time did you arrive at the park? Try to remember exactly, Mr. Mars. Every detail can be important. It must have been about... Um... 4.15... 4... God. 4.15. Yeah, that's it. 4.15. I remember exactly because I looked at the clock in the park when we arrived. What was your son wearing when he disappeared? I don't know if he it was He was wearing a coat. He was wearing a coat. Oh, God! Green, black, brown... Brown? Shit! A black coat. He was wearing black. And a pair of pants. Uh, but brown? Brown pants. I'm gonna lose my son. How could Sean have disappeared without you even noticing? Weren't you right by the carousel? Can't remember Little Walk. I, I did. I... I didn't leave. I watched the carousel. How could Sean and... possibly have vanished if you were right there watching the carousel? I don't know. I don't understand. You say you took your son to the park after school. But you didn't report him missing until 8.15. Why did it take you so long to contact the police? Panic searched. I searched the whole neighborhood for him. I, I thought he couldn't have gone far. Did Sean have any particular difficulties, Mr. Mars? Anything that might have caused him to run away? Sean is a sensitive child. Our relationship has been a little difficult recently. Everything okay at school? Any particular problems between you and your wife? No, nothing in particular. All right. That's all the questions I have for now. You're free to go, Mr. Mars. We'll continue to look for Sean overnight. We'll contact you if we have any more questions. Do... Do you think the origami killer... Listen, your son's probably just run off and he'll turn up in a couple of hours. But what if it is the origami killer? Well, then we have about four days to find him alive. Did they find something? No, nothing yet, but they're gonna keep looking through the night. Do they... do they think it's the origami killer? It, it, it's still too early to say... but it is a possibility. What happened, Ethan? 
how could you lose Sean like that? You should never have taken your eyes off him. I mean, for God's sake, how hard is it to keep your eye on a child in the park? Why did you leave him, Ethan? Why? I didn't. Wasn't it enough losing Jason? I'm sorry. That's not what I meant to say. I miss him so much. <laughs> All right, well, we are gonna stop it here. God, that really bothers me because the fact that I didn't know what Sean was wearing, I, I have a I have really bad memory and I just don't think about stuff like that, especially when I'm playing a game because I don't think that someone's just gonna randomly ask me what they were wearing. I didn't, I just didn't even think. So many weird stuff is happening right now because we have, we have Norman, Jaden, who has some weird issue and he's like taking this drug and I don't know what it said. Before I went and washed my face, it said take trip to or take trip or something like that. So he's some kind of drug addict and I don't know what's going on, but that is just crazy. Um, second thing, I couldn't remember what Sean was wearing and that really bothers me. Um, but then again, if you ask me what his ex-wife was just wearing right now, I have no idea. If I have to think about it right now, what the ex-wife was wearing, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what color it was. I don't know if it was a jacket. It probably was a jacket. It's, I just don't think about stuff like that, and I probably should. I just, when the subtitles are at the bottom, I kind of look at their mouths and their faces, and I look at the subtitles. I don't really do a lot of, like, looking around the screen, especially when subtitles are staring back at me, because I, I feel like I need to read them. Anyway... I need to pay a little bit more attention, but I hope you guys are enjoying this game because I definitely am. Crazy things are happening. Also, if I can change my office eventually, like if I can change the background, please let me know because I will restart this part of the game if I have to because I don't like that office. You know that I am afraid of water. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>